Good evening, everyone. It is late on the 28th, early in the morning on the 28th. Um, <laughs> I am here to do the reading for um, this full moon, this blood moon, which is another super moon. I'm here to do the reading for it. It is hot. I should probably go cut the air on, but you won't be able to hear me because it'll be gone. So, um, I can tell you right now before I even um, pull these cards. There should be a lot of feminine energy around this moon, obviously because it's the moon, but even more so. Um, and let's just see. We're just going to go from there because... what I said. Clean the cups out the gate. Cups, baby. Cups. Ooh. Yeah, another serious moon. This is a very serious moon. I'm going to interpret it, though, coming from here. I don't know. I might have to go cut that hair on, y'all. It is hot. Yeesh. Okay. So looking at this first spread, um, the energy of this blood moon is one of paying attention to your surroundings and your documents, business documents in particular. Especially if you're a woman going into business, you're a woman negotiating a contract, a settlement, anything. Anything when it comes to money and you are doing negotiation contracts, this is the time to make sure you have lawyers or legalese look over documentation. Um, this is a time you read in between the lines when people are talking to you to understand what they are actually saying. In addition to what they're just flat out saying to you, there may be double meanings there. And the meanings may not be double coming from them. They could be saying what they're saying, but spirit could be talking to you directly. Okay. Um, this is a moon of many messages, many messages from the mothers. To the daughters. Messages from the mothers to the daughters. And the daughters have to interpret these messages by themselves. They really have to pay attention. Okay? Really got to pay attention. And I'm going to even add in there um, feminine energy. Okay? Yeah. Things are stabilizing for people. I swear, every single time I do this reading, it's a different crew of people coming in here um, that I'm picking up on energy-wise within regards to the message that is for them. Okay, there have been... This is not so much an entrepreneurial thing this time. This is like a basic, you know, people have been going for jobs. People have been going for, um, they really hit a serious rough financial pitch. And I mean really serious, like dog days of summer, like real, this is like, like tumbleweed coming down the street, not money type situation that people have been going through. And they've been working it. They've been working it spiritually, trying to really figure it out, but not quite coming up with the results that they want. That is getting ready to change. That is getting ready to change. I want to, in this, I want to say one more time, this is not for business people. This is for everybody. This is for layering folk, people who are just trying to make it and that don't necessarily want to open up businesses 
They just want to live, you know, their lives the way they want to live them, working jobs, first shift, second shift, third shift, graveyard shift. They want that to come through for them. And this has been an issue. This has been an issue within regards to um, regular and steady issues. And quite frankly, everybody's down to they down to the last with this one. And very worried about, you know, their complete and utter ruin. Pay attention. Like Mercury is retrograde. I'm going to talk about that shortly after this reading too. Mercury is retrograde. So pay attention to all of your communications. That means watch email, watch your spam. Because the communication that you get regarding a job could come in via another way. Pay attention to mail coming to your um, house. Pay attention to conversations that you have with people. Um, make sure that you just paying attention to all your communications. Text message. I mean, seriously. Something, a message coming through on a leaf, baby. Pay attention to your messages that are coming through. Because you've been putting in a lot of work. And when I say this, this is for my people that have been putting in resumes, job applications, working connections, the brute force way. Not very, um, these are not the people that are dealing in the spiritual realm like that. They were looking for a job, man. It's coming through. They're going to feel much better, but all of a sudden, they're going to feel the pressure. Because the job will have, you know what I mean, something's going to come through. The job will have come through, and when it does, all the bills are going to be due. Like, past due, due. Just pay them one at a time. Prioritize your most important bill, and then go from there. Call everybody. Once again, Mercury Retrograde, because these are past bills, you'll be able to talk about it. Okay? Call them and let them know you, you know, you're getting ready to do what you got to do. No communication is better than no communication at all all the time. You'll be fine. This is going to really turn around and do better for you. Things that you've been really worried about, you should not you got to take your attention away from it and start to concentrate on the next thing. Because that's what's keeping you, you know, quite frankly, in the predicament, pardon me, I'm getting ready to just change some incense out. I'm coming right back on camera, guys. I just want to put some incense on. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that you understand you've not been left alone with this one. But you, quite frankly, this is not a group of people that's really looking for divine intervention. These are somewhat my naysayers. My people that believe in their hard, hard work um, don't really see um, benefit to the spiritual path. But for some odd reason, you're going to run into this reading. And hello. Once you get here, it's, it's, it's clear enough for you. It's going to clear up for you. Okay, for some people that already got a brand new beginning, like they already got a brand new beginning, um, and I'm laughing because I think this might actually apply to me. It's kind of rare that these do. But they already got a brand new beginning, and now they need a whole bunch of other stuff to go with that. Go, you know, like a completed goal spurs brand new goals type situation. That's what this is. Okay, that's getting ready to come through for people too. A lot of the things, that the way that people think about um, achieving goals in life are getting ready to switch under the auspices of this full moon. As it starts to release everything it gathered up in it within these past two weeks, within this past, I want to say six months to seven months out of this year, within this past year, within this past five years, it's been gathering between this super full moon and the last one, it was like this. I don't quite know when it was. I have one 
a picture of one from uh, 2015 on my phone. Um, September 27th of 2015. Right? Yeah, there was a date. Um, there was a blood moon too. This, however, I'm saying this has been gathering energy for a minute. You know how you always feel like you're trying to figure stuff out? Like, okay, you take two steps forward and then you take a half back. Then you go forward three, then you take five back. And then you jump ten and then you take two back. Like, it's that type of situation. It's just, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure it out. I need to I need to figure out how to make sure. Well, you're getting ready to have some things come through that are going to help to stabilize and solidify your place now your goals being achieved and a little bit more understanding as to how to replicate these um outcomes in the future you gotta pay attention now or well, you gotta pay attention it's gonna come through like a blip Bloop. Because there's going to be something big going on and here it is coming. And then you're going to be so concentrated on the other stuff coming through, you might miss this. People need to get to the doctor. Checkups are needed. gonna realize there's something you need to bone up on what I'm seeing here a lot is a, a food plan like you're gonna need to change what you're eating and get some spiritual work done before you get any type of um, this is now I'm talking to my spiritual crew um, before you get anything official like a, any type of surgery anything like that just Go to the doctor, get yourself checked out, um, get any type of spiritual work. If you go to a spiritualist before going to the doctor or after going to the doctor, in between, it's advantageous on either side. I would say after more so in this case. Go to the doctor. Fight for your time by yourself. Fight for some new time. People are worn out. That's the message of this moon. One of the main messages of this moon. Get your health. Finances are coming together for people. Finances are coming together for um, people who had a goal come through and it spurred along brand new expenditures. Um, people need to go to the doctor. I'm trying to do a quick review right now. And uh, people got to take some time and rest, sleep, stop burning a wick at two ends. That's talking to me. <laughs> um, stop burning the wick at two ends. Get your rest. Because something's getting ready to give and it don't need to be you. You're going to be afforded an opportunity to, to sleep. Sleep. Do not get up and think you have to be busying yourself about some work. That's coming in the near future. The work will come right now. Sleep. Yes. Sleep. Pay attention to your dreams when you sleep too. The ancestors are talking to you. The 